Hey guys, welcome back to another AI video and in this video, we're gonna explore a brand new workflow for the open source video generation model called WAN. This workflow is called WAN Video Start and Frames and it's pretty apparent from the name what it does. Basically, you provide it one start frame and one end frame for any image and the video generation model can interpolate between those two images and create a coherent video. We can see some examples of it down below. So for example, in this case, this is a start frame and this is the end frame. These frames are from an animated series called Arcane. And as you can see, the difference between these two frames is obviously the characters are looking at each other. And when you pass this through that workflow, this is the video we get as an output. And as you can see, the model has no problem whatsoever interpolating between the two images. So this model can interpolate between two different images in pretty much any style. So for example, here, as you can see, these are the two anime images frames I have provided it and as you can see it has interpolated beautifully between those two frames and it has also kept the colors intact. So this is my base character, her clothes and her colors and these colors are consistent throughout the length of the video. Now that was an example of a 2D animation and this example I'm showing you over here. This is sort of a blend between 2D and 3D. So overall this series is 3D but the painting uh, and brush strokes sort of give it a painterly look. Now the process of setting it up is pretty simple. If you have used any kind of WAN 2.1 workflow before in Comfy UI, you don't need to re-download models. Most of the model and VA encoding and decoding is exactly similar in this case. So if you guys have played around with WAN 2.1 before, you will be able to realize uh, the VA for encoding and decoding we were using, it's gonna be the same. So as you can see, we have a lot of model options, but in this case, we want to play around with the image to video model that's what we're gonna be using but all those details will be present inside the workflow i'll share with you guys in order to use this workflow what i want you guys to do is load up your comfy ui and drag and drop this workflow i'll share with you guys in the description down below just drag and drop it over here a bunch of nodes are gonna show up as missing you can simply install them from comfy ui manager so as you can see, this is the one video wrapper. We are not gonna install the latest version of this. Uh, for some reason, it's uh, it's causing problems for me. We're gonna go a bit behind and we're gonna install this one. And once that is installed, everything should be working just fine. Now, this is the workflow we're gonna be using. And here to start off, we have the option to select our first image and our last image and the AI uh, the one model is going to interpolate between those two images here we have an option to add our text we're gonna replace this text here in a minute after that you need to make sure you have the right models installed by default these ones will pop up so once again if you don't have any one of these I will have a link to these models in the description and I'm also gonna write a note over here and here I'm gonna leave links to all of these models uh, so you guys can simply go to the website from here and install those models. So when you pull this workflow and put it in Comfy UI, you will have the link to all those models over here. But we're gonna uh, select the VA encoder first. So we're gonna select the simple one 2.1 VA and we're gonna do the same for the decoding part. So here it's going to be encoding and here uh, before the final result, it's going to be decoding everything. Next up, we can set the length of our animation between the two images from here. This number of frames, this one over here, by default, it's set to 81. You guys can play around with this. So for example, if you guys are generating any animation and you know how many frames are in between them, you can edit them from here. Now you don't have an option to I choose any number of frames for example you can't do 80 for example it won't allow you to do that it, it jumps between numbers so you guys can play around with this number and figure out what works best in your case we can set a custom width and height from here these nodes that's pretty much it if you guys want to have more control over the final outputs you can ha change the cfg scale and the number of steps from the case sampler as usual but we're gonna upload some images and we're gonna write a prompt and we're gonna try to make some videos 
okay so i have uploaded the images over here and i have written a brief prompt over here a lady in traditional dress sitting in a field she raises her hand and a bird sits on her hand I'm gonna uh, we're gonna make sure all the models are correct so in this case we don't have a subfolder so we're simply gonna select the correct one and we're gonna do the same for the image to video model and lastly here once again we don't have a subfolder so we're simply gonna select this one over here that's pretty much it we're gonna click on run and let's see what kind of output we get for these two images okay this is the final video we have gotten from those two images and i've got to say the results are pretty stunning as you can see the face of the character stays pretty consistent throughout her clothes the colors and everything and especially unlike some other video models this model does not struggle as much with the fingers as you can see all the body proportions are pretty coherent now i'm going to change the images and let's try something other than humans this time now i want to clarify one more thing uh, for this uh, particular workflow the gpu i am using right now is an rtx 4090 and if you are using any other gpu on run port uh, you might run into issues because of different architectures so you might need to resolve those issues uh, i would recommend uh, if you have access to rtx 4090 on run port or any other cloud computer platform just use that otherwise you might have to change some parameters in these nodes also if you want to get an estimate on how long it took for 12.1 to generate this on an rtx 4090 gpu uh, you can see this prompt was executed in 847 seconds okay i have uploaded these two images of the car and i've written a prompt over here a car driving on the road as a camera pans around it and this is the result we've gotten this time and i've got to say once again the results are pretty good especially given that we have not provided much context in the prompt like we have only written uh, as a camera pans around it it took exactly 715 seconds for this uh, video to be generated i'm gonna change the images once again and we're gonna now try to generate a video of a neon lit city okay so i have uploaded these two images this time and i've changed the prompt slightly a man with a suit and tie working in a neon lit city he smiles and raises one hand to give thumbs up and this is the end frame we're expecting let's see how the van 2.1 uh, model interpolates between these two images to create a video we're gonna wait for it to generate and here is the output video we have gotten for these images and now of course there is some resizing going on so his face is cut off uh, we can fix that by setting the width and height over here but for now i'm gonna call it a day you guys get the idea so i'm gonna leave this workflow and if you need to download models, if you have not played around with one 2.1 before, I'm going to leave a link to this website down in the description as well. And whatever models are being used in this comfy UI workflow, I'm going to leave a link to all of the, those in the note over here. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you guys have any questions you want to ask, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to help you if possible. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.